You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. This week we're introducing Sikh Leadership by Jaginder Singh. This book was published in 1999 by the Guru Nanak Dev University Amritsar, where the author was based in the history department. The edition that we're looking at is hardbound. Sikh leadership is a work that looks at some of the leaders of the Sikh community in the early part of the 20th century. These include such luminaries and leading figures from the Singh Sabha Lair, Chief Khal Sadewan, uh, Shiromani Gordura Parwandar Committee and uh, of course the Shiromani Akali Dal Sikh political party. As well as this, it looks at other personalities, whether they were Sants or Babas or leading figures in other political movements who were Sikh. The book is essentially split into two separate parts. The first section of the book consists of seven chapters in which the author talks generally about differing sections of Sikh leadership. The opening chapter is an introduction, while in the closing chapter, the author presents his conclusions about how Sikh leaders carried themselves throughout that time period. The second section of the book consists of around 220 pages of monographs of differing Sikh personalities who fit within that overall title of being Sikh leadership. Each of these biographical accounts briefly details who the person was, how they rose up into power and what it was that they achieved throughout their lifetime. The book begins with a preface written by the author himself, including some acknowledgements, and has a comprehensive index, as one would expect, at the closing of the book. Each of the seven chapters in the first section of the book closes with relevant and appropriate footnotes. In reality, what you're getting with Sikh Leadership by Jaginder Singh is two books in one. That first section with the seven chapters by the author is his take on how Sikh leaders at the turn of the 20th century dealt with socio-economic issues. It was a particularly sensitive time, so the author's insights are quite valuable, particularly considering his background and research into uh, history at the Guru Nanak Dev University. That second section of the book, providing biographical accounts of many different Sikh leaders, is encyclopedic entirely in nature and makes this a reference book rather than somebody's insights and personal conclusions and opinions on those individuals. That makes this a book definitely worth having on your bookcase and easy at reach to hand if you're somebody who writes about Punjab or Sikh history in recent times. I would guess that most of the individual personalities who feature in this work are not household names amongst Sikhs or Punjabis themselves. Whilst academics might be familiar with them, it is still useful to have brief biographical data about them. This is certainly a work that requires you to have an interest in the subject matter in order to own it. It's not coffee table material. However, that being said, anybody who has a serious book collection on Punjabi or Sikh history needs to own this book. It's the kind of book I would like to see in every Gordora library around the world so that people can get access to who different individuals are. But we want to know what you think, so please leave us a comment below and let us know what you think of Sikh Leadership by Jaginder Singh. Join us again for another Cover to Cover at Nojwani, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Mm -hmm.